Hello and welcome to Business Planet. What's become apparent in the battle against, yes, you've guessed it, the coronavirus is the vital role technology can play. While scientists work on a vaccine, another industry governments have turned to is space. As it happens, a sector in which Europe is a global leader. Joining me now is Timo Pessinen, the European Commission's Director General for the Defence Industry and Space. Timo, thanks for being with us. Right now, can you tell us how Europe is working with this sector to better manage the consequences of COVID-19? Thanks, Paul. Indeed, we have mobilised all the assets in the European Union to help and ease the situation with the coronavirus. Immediately after the crisis stroke, we did not leave Italy alone, but together with the Italian authorities, we offered them images of the most affected regions so they were able to take the necessary decisions. We also have eased the situation at the borders when the traffic has been immense and the queues have been long. You mentioned the borders. We saw major bottlenecks at crossings inside the EU in March as countries went into lockdown. A lot of work has gone into trying to prevent a repeat of that. Could you tell us more? Yes, indeed. There were tens of kilometres of queue at some borders in Europe and we were able to identify with our Copernicus program images of those border crossings and with those images to convince the national leaders to take the necessary decisions to ease the situation. We also launched a so-called Galileo app for Green Lane. It's very simple to use. The driver themselves can download the application and then they can follow the situation and feed in also information on the situation. It's very concrete to contribute and to help to ease the situation at the borders. OK, let me bring in Raluca Marianne from the International Transport Union. Raluca, what would you like to see as countries ease lockdown restrictions? The Commission has issued its guidelines on green lanes for freight at the borders and many member states have implemented these guidelines. However, we expect increased problems with the deconfinement process because uh, private traffic will be more and more mixed with uh, commercial traffic and then there will be competition at the borders between private and commercial. Um, hence, our message as IRU is that these green lanes have to become a reality and have to be implemented by all member states. And they also uh, have to mean that there is no systematic stop of trucks at the borders, because even um, a check of some minutes in a situation of dense traffic will cause traffic jams. How important is this Green Lane app, particularly as we move forward? There are 187 border crossing points in the EU. So with so many uh, border crossing points, uh, this tool is indeed very important. And it is very important because it improves predictability. It provides real-time information and um, it helps us planning better. And Timo, a final word for you. How specifically will this Green Lane app help businesses? When, when you plan, you know, the logistic chain, you have uh, imports, exports, operations going on, you make a very detailed planning of the transport chain. So, of course, then when you are aware of the situation and life at the borders, you can look for alternative routes. And at the best case scenario, you can also have priority for critical staff to pass the border more quickly than, than some others. Timo, Raluca, thanks for being with us. That's it for this Business Planet. As always, for more on all this, head to our webpage. Until the next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.